Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to create graphs or charts with SPSS in a few different ways. The first one, graphs, is the chart builder. Click on OK and here I can actually choose, I'll reset it, the gallery, the type of graph I actually want to see. So if I want to see a pie chart I go for pie, if I want to see a bar chart a bar, a histogram, a scatter plot you can basically pick any type you like to see so let's go for a pie I drag it up here and then I need to tell it what it is I want to see I want to see the slices by employment category you can go through the other options click on OK and I nicely get in my output a pie chart now for m almost all charts, if you double click on them, you'll get to the chart editor. Here you can actually manipulate the look and feel of the chart. So I'll do a few options here for, the, uh, for this pie chart. I want to see data labels. I want to see the employment category. I want to see that as the first thing. I also want to see the count. I want that and you can hit apply to actually see the result of these things I want the label position to be at the inside and there we go or actually at the far end apply or you can even say that manually this is ok I then select now I've selected the entire chart I can do the depth and angle of this you could create a 3D effect apply um, but that distorts the truth a little bit so let's make it flat again apply if I click on a slice again then it's the only slice selected and now I can change for example the fill color of this one to orange with a uh, pattern there apply and now you have a nice looking chart. This can actually go because I've entered the categories here so under options there is hide legend and now the legend is simply gone. Close and your new one will automatically be put in your output. Wait, okay. graphs, graph board template chooser. Now this works slightly different. I'll reset it again here you first select what it is you want to see so for example if I want to see the um, uh, employment category it suggests to use a bar of counts, a pie of counts, a histogram or a dot plot I'm going to be using a bar of counts you can actually go over these options again simply click on OK and I have a nice bar chart the downside of this so-called graph board template chooser is that if you double click on a chart you don't get the chart editor but the graph board editor and there's a lot less you can do here so I wouldn't really recommend using it the third option is the legacy dialogues so if I want to show a bar chart and let's say I want a clustered one so that uh, they're stacked next to each other so they can show two or more variables click on define reset I want to see the gender in the clusters and I want to see the educational the employment category on the category axis uh, percentage of cases or number of cases I'll leave it at number of cases for now and here we have a nice bar chart apparently there are no female custodial workers another th method besides these in the graphs menu is to go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies we said employment category and under charts you can actually select what type of chart you want to see let's go for a pie chart continue okay so many of the analyze options actually also have a charts to display or not and you can still double click on them and it will open up the chart edit. Another way of getting a table is actually uh, uh, 
a chart is using the table so if you constructed a table and you want to see for example the cumulative percentage double click on the table select the data you want to see right click oh, right click create graph and then select the graph you want to see so there we go the last type of chart I like to discuss is the Pareto chart there are two ways of Oh, sorry, I also need to discuss the histogram, so let's do a histogram first. I'll use graphs, legacy dialog, histogram, and I want that of the current salary. Click on OK. So here's my histogram. It uses equal class widths, and, and that's why it's okay to use frequency. There's no way to get unequal class width, so it will never actually have to use frequency density, but SPSS might want to work on that. You can actually change how many bins you are seeing, so if I double click on the chart and I select the bins, I actually get the binning option in my properties, and custom in full width, let's say I want 25 thousand click on apply and you can actually see that and now changed it okay that's it for the histogram now the Pareto diagram that's the last one I want to discuss can go in two different ways I can say analyze no sorry graphs legacy dialog bar so I simply use a bar chart define uh, educational level that's okay and what makes a Pareto chart? A Pareto chart is that these then should be ordered by size or number of frequencies. So I double click, I select the bars, and in the properties I go for the statistic in descending order, apply, and now I have a Pareto chart. Most Pareto charts, however, also have a secondary axis showing the cumulative percentages. Um, and that's actually hidden under Analyze, Quality Control, Pareto Charts. I like a simple one, Define, Educational Levels was the one I wanted. And now I nicely have a Pareto chart.